225 years ago, Captain Francis Light established Georgetown as a British trading post in the Straits of Malacca. Penang became a haven for traders and settlers. A substantial part of vintage Penang remains two centuries later. And it is this encounter with old world charm and inner city living that makes Penang a unique urban heritage experience. Today, Georgetown, together with Malacca, is a UNESCO World Heritage Site and evokes the full flavor of that bygone era, before the age of the internet. The good old times are not all gone. Georgetown is Penang's historic inner city and showcases pre-war buildings that features local, South Indian, European and Chinese influences. The island is unique in that it was the meeting point in which the Anglo-Indian Empire encountered local communities and Chinese civilization, thus laying the foundation for a melting pot of Straits people and giving an exceptional portrait to Penang's urban landscape. The Rice Miller development is located a short stroll from the Old Harbour juxtaposed between two of Georgetown's most famous roads, Beach Street and World Quay. The Rice Miller development is built in what was once Penang's commercial heart, while Upper Beach Street that includes China Street Gout and Church Street was once the domain of elite European companies. The latter part housed both Western and local companies. Beach Street itself had been part of a large reclamation project between 1880 and 1903 that resulted in the creation of Weld Quay and Swetnam Pier. Spurred by a commitment to preserving historical legacies, the Rice Miller development is set to create a new era of opportunities and restore the old urban centre in Georgetown and to celebrate the city's heritage. The Rice Miller Hotel and Go Downs will unveil a redefined boutique hotel in the style of royalty with 48 suites and discreetly attentive service. The Rice Miller City Residences consist of 99 city residences nestled between the Old Waterfront and the Banking District. City living at the Rice Miller provides resort-style facilities such as boutique retail outlets, event centre, lifestyle restaurants, trendy bars and a members-only club accessibility to an infinity pool, fitness facilities, and a hammam spa. One of the prominent early pioneer settlers of that time was Lim Chu Guan, Penang's only rice miller then, and who was known as Pua Hin Leong. He was only in his teens when he immigrated to Penang in the early years of the 19th century with scarcely a dollar in his pocket. He worked hard and was always the first to be at the jetty each morning to trade. His Ki Hang Bi Mill offices were on World Key, and the remnant of the rice miller's office was the signage that read, Rice Abundance and Eternal. The Rice Miller Hotel and Go Downs is built from the ground up in the infill portion of a three-acre site. The rest of the development comprising Pua Hin Leong's old office, an old go-down and a two-storey shop house are conserved and adapted for reuse. Penang is a popular destination with internationals making Malaysia their second home. The Penang International Airport is an important gateway for business and tourism in the northern region. 
The 24-kilometer Sultan Abdul Halim Wadzim Shah Bridge is the second bridge linking the island to the mainland. Together with a proposed undersea tunnel, these projects serve as a development game-changer in Penang's transformation into an international and intelligent city. The Rice Miller development is a Penang masterpiece and will take Georgetown to a whole new level of energy. With its prime location adjacent to the ferry and Swettenham Pier, it will be hailed as one of the keys to Georgetown's revitalization. <laughs>